With U.S. troops already fighting in Afghanistan, America invaded Iraq 20 years ago and took out Saddam Hussein. The global war on terror was launched after the 9-11 attacks. The premise for the Iraq invasion was that Hussein had weapons of mass destruction, but those weapons were never found. Peter Henney is an expert on the Iraq war and a professor of Middle East and global religious politics at UVM. Thank you for being here. Sure. Thanks for having me. You got it. So what have we learned from that war that might impact how the U.S. responds to conflicts today? Uh, unfortunately, the lessons are kind of mixed, right? On the one hand, we got rid of Saddam Hussein, this horrific dictator who had ruled Iraq for decades, brutalized his people, launched wars against his neighbors. So that was a good thing. But, I mean, but the cost was... Over 4,000 American dead, over 100,000 Iraqi dead, uh, many more people injured or suffering from, you know, psychological complications from the war, uh, turmoil in the region as Iran gained influence thanks to the fall of Saddam Hussein's government, the rise of ISIS. I think one lesson we've learned is that, uh, you know, military interventions like that are not as quick and easy as some would hope. You know, if we remember... We were told that the war would be over within weeks, that we would be greeted as liberators, and it got a little more complicated than that. But the bigger question of, you know, how involved should America be in the Middle East is still unclear. Some people think the war tells us we should, you know, keep our distance and, and stay removed. Others say, well, no, there's a, a positive role for America in the Middle East. And if we withdraw, then countries like China will come in, as we saw with the recent Saudi Arabia run deal. I want to follow up on those sacrifices. As you know, Vermont played a major role in the 2003 war in Iraq and suffered a terrible toll. The state had more deaths per capita in Iraq than any other state. More than 20 troops with ties to the Green Mountains died in the war there, about half from the Vermont National Guard, and nearly 20 more lost their lives in the war in Afghanistan. Was the Iraq invasion a mistake? So it's, it, that is really hard to say, especially hard for me not having served in the military to make that judgment. But in terms of, you know, being promised that this would be a quick, easy victory, overthrow Saddam Hussein and demonstrate that America is still the dominant player in the world, it, it did not work out that way. But again, we, we did accomplish the mission. I don't want to downplay getting rid of Saddam Hussein, but the bigger costs were immense. More than $800 billion was spent on that war with, as you mentioned, more than 4,000 U.S. deaths by the time that we pulled out in 2011. What role did that cost play in how our military is structured today? Well, so a lot of our resources were dedicated towards fighting this war uh, to, to the possible detriment of longer-term planning, but then as we wound down our involvement, right, in the beginning of the Obama administration and redirected towards Afghanistan, there was this push on counterinsurgency, right? How do we stop insurgent terrorist forces from undermining a country? That might have left us a little less well prepared to take on uh, a more direct threat like Russia invading Ukraine, right? It's a different sort of paradigm that 20 years of military thinking had not been working towards. Peter Henning at UVM, thank you. Be well. Great, thanks.